everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com and I have been asked to do uh, videos showing how to color with the Stampin' Blends. So I thought today would be a great day um, for the first one. This will be for my What You Make in Wednesdays. So I'm actually taping it ahead of time um, only because I'm not going to be home on the actual Wednesday. So I will um, do it ahead of time. So some of these will be taped, some of these will be live, but I hope you will enjoy them and I hope you um, learn some new things each time. And please make sure that down below that you um, put any suggestions if you want to see a particular um, stamp set or um, colors or whatever. Um, just make sure you, that you let me know. It always helps me um, plan my videos for sure. If you're here for the first time, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up if you if you like the video. And um, so today I'm going to be doing the cute Santa from the Don't Stop Believing set and I hope you will enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I have stamped the don't Stop Believing Santa Claus with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And this is on the Whisper White Thick. So that's the cardstock that I always use when I'm going to be using the blends. It's nice and um, it's thick, it takes the ink well, and um, it just has some heft to it. So that's what I, I prefer to use. I have also used the regular Whisper White and you can use that too. I just like um, that the, the thick, it's just a little thicker. Okay, so let, um, let's get started. So what I'm going to do very first, this is the light mint macaron, and I'm just going to go around the Santa and add a little bit of a shadow around so he pops off the page. Now you can choose to do only one side or or both. I've gone totally around um, around Santa, so um, it's that part is up to you. Okay, so let's start his face. So like any of my people or my animals, I always like to add like a rosy look to their faces. And hang on a second, I want to set my timer, and I totally forgot. Hang on a minute. Okay, just so I don't um, run out of time and the, and the, the uh, camera will turn off. It's nice to learn these things, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my light flirty flamingo and then I'm just going to add a little bit of color around Santa. And it looks kind of dark right now, but I'm going to take my um, petal pink, my light petal pink, and my dark petal pink, and move the color around. So I'm going to zoom in just a tad, okay, because I'm getting a shadow from my hand. So, okay, that might be better. Okay, that's better. All right, so now I'm going to take my dark petal pink, and I'm going to flip it around. I like to use the, the um, stronger tip, the, the, um, like the pen side or whatever. All right, so I'm just taking my dark petal pink and I'm adding some more color and I'm going right over top of the flirty flamingo and it's going to soften that pink a little bit but you're still going to see it underneath so you're still going to see that rosy glow. And then I'm going to take my light petal pink and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the Santa. And this will actually um, make some of the colors pop because it's going to lighten where I was. So don't forget to do his little lip right there. And then I want to put a little bit of flirty on this one side of his lip just so he has that cute little lip there. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add some color to his glasses. Now this is really fun. So I'm going to take the light pool party and the light 
gray granite. So take your light gray granite and I want you to just put a little bit of gray granite on the bottom of the glasses. And then I want you to take the light pool party and then I want you to go on the top, but I also want you to bring it down into the light gray. And what this is going to do is it gives that look of glass. So let me raise that up so you can see it a little bit. So see, now he's got these, these fun, these glasses on. All right. So now let's see what we want to do. Now we want to do his beard. Now I've talked about this before. So this is my shadow block. It's basically the block that you use to um, put your, to stamp. You know, put your stamp set on there and stamp with it. What I did was I just glued a piece of um, cardstock that I had wrote st shadow block on there. Just glued it on the back. And now this is the one that I use. If I want to use a color that is going to be too dark but I want it to still have its show, right? So let's see here. I'm gonna take the light smoky slate. So this is the light smoky slate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come over here and I'm going to scribble a little bit on my shadow block. Now I'm going to take the color lifter and I have wrote shadow on here and it gets rubbed off a little bit, but this one is the shadow one. So this is the one that I use to move color from the block onto what I'm coloring. The rest of the ones are the actual color lifter where I'm removing color. So basically this is why I marked it so that I don't use this one um, for boo-boos. This is my almost like a paintbrush. All right, so I'm coming over here and I'm going to get some of that light smoky slate off of the block. And then I'm gonna come over to Santa's beard and I'm going to bring that color over into his beard and into his mustache, into his hair. But it's very, very subtle because his beard is white. But I wanna add some color to it, but I don't want it to be overpowering with color. So this just allows me to add a little bit of color, but not so much that it's too dark. Like I don't want him to have a gray beard. I still want his beard to be white. So I'm just barely flicking that color on there. And then what happens is then he's got his white beard has color to it. All right, but now his eyebrows would be a little darker. So I'm actually going to use the blend to add the color directly to his eyebrows. All right, so let me lift that up so you can see. So see how his beard has some subtle color to it. And you can add more if you want, and I can always go back and add add more later. So you can do the same thing in regards to the um, the fur on his hat and the fur on his um, cuff. So let's use the light pool party because we want it to be a little different shadow or shade than his um, beard. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little bit on here, let me get the dark pool party because that was a light. So I'm going to get the dark pool party and I'm going to take that same color lifter. So I'm just cleaning it off. And this is just a piece of the thick um, Whisper White just so that as this bleeds through, it goes to the cardstock and it doesn't get on my board underneath. All right, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of the light pool party and I'm just going to quickly color the cuff and I'm not coloring the whole cuff in. I'm just touching the edges because then it's going to be that white. Um, it's going to be like a white, but it just has a little bit of a shadow. just real subtle. All right, so now you've got the pool party on there. So now it just looks like, like a crisp white um, 
like white fur or whatever. Okay, so let's start to color Santa's hat and his coat. All right, so we are going to use, like always, whenever I do the reds, I always use the light soft suede first. So we are just going to add some soft suede onto the side here and just a little bit down here. Also around here because that's where the shadow would be. And underneath here because his, his um, beard would go over top. So just want to add a little of that light soft suede and off to the side here. Now I'm just I'm not going to color like this whole thing because what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up cutting this out with and with a die. So I'm just Oh, and my marker's getting you can tell I use this one a lot. Oops, hold on a minute. I need to stop. Okay, I had to go and get uh, a new suede marker because I have used that other one forever. All right, so this is just a light, soft suede. All right, then I'm going to take my dark, real red. Now you could use poppy parade. You could use any of the reds, but I'm going to be using red cardstock with Santa. So then I choose. I chose to use the the red this time. All right. So this is the dark, real red. I'm going right over top where I was with the light, soft suede. And basically, what it's doing is it's giving me a richer, darker red where the soft suede was. So it's kind of almost like gives you three colors of real red by doing that. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going right over top, but I'm going out a little bit. So that will give us those three distinctive reds. So I'm going out just a tad. He is such a cute image to color. So I'm just going up this is another reason why I like to use the the um, the smaller tip because I can get in the nooks and crannies better, and I feel like I have a little bit more control over the marker with the the blunt tip or whatever you want to call it. The the because we don't really write with them. I hate to say the writing tip because I don't really write with these, but you know what I mean. It's the non-brush end. All right. So I'm just going to go all around where all my light soft suede was. And again, remember, go out a little bit. So cover the soft suede, but go out a little bit. And I just keep turning. I find it easier to turn so that I'm not resting my hand where I've colored. Like I've always got like the the plain area where I've colored. All right, so that was the dark real red. Now I'm going to take the light real red and I'm going to fill in all my areas. And then you'll see that definite lighter area. But what I am doing is I, I'm going over into where the dark real red was and that will soften where they touch so it's not such a strong line between the colors. So if you just go over it just a little bit, it's going to soften that. And then as it dries, it will also um, blend in a little bit better as well. All right, so let me just kind of wiggle this around because I, like I said before, I'm going to cut it out with a dye. So I don't need to color too much because then you're just wasting your marker. All right, so then I'm just going around and softening where those colors meet. 
Okay, so you can definitely see the differences between the colors. All right, if you want it to be even more, like if you go, you know what, I wish that was a little darker, no no problem. What's great about the Stampin' Blends is you can, you can add your color back. So I'm adding a little more of the light smoky slate there so that it's just got a little bit of a darker look to it. Make that beard pop a little bit more. All right. And right there where that line is because that's where that fold would be so there would be shadow there and then last but not least let's do his glove now I chose to use the granny apple I've seen the glove in many colors but I love the granny apple and it's such a fun bright green for the um, Christmas season so that's what I chose to use today so this is the dark granny apple and it just adds that beautiful pop of green. And I'm just putting a little dark around his fingers, around the edge here, here, and these lines where the stitching is, I'm putting it there as well. All right. And then just take your light granny apple and you're gonna fill in those areas. Now try not to rub too much where you just colored with the dark because you'll lighten that up if you go over it with the the light granny apple if you go over it too much if you don't want the lines to be as strong then just on one side just kind of wiggle in a circle and you'll soften up some of those lines if you don't want it to be too um, too distinctive like that if you want it to be more just take your your dark and you can go back and add just a little bit where the light granny took some of that color away so fun and there's Santa isn't he so cute I love him so hopefully you learned a few things that you might not have known in regards to um, the Stampin' Blends today, the the coloring of the glasses, I just love the the look of the glasses on there. And um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great uh, rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.